There are many online resources available to students to find books, ebooks, and articles, including library databases, search engines, library catalogs, and discovery tools. To find the best information in these resources, you'll need to choose the right search terms. In a search box, entering a sentence or a statement might seem like the simplest method of searching, but generally your results will be poor. Instead, you should enter keywords in the search box to obtain the best results. Keywords are individual words or short phrases that represent key elements of your topic. Let's take a look at the process of creating a keyword list. We'll use the search question, Are Children Harmed by Secondhand Smoke in Cars? as an example. First, you'll need to identify the distinctive terms in your search question. Children, secondhand smoke, and cars are all distinctive terms. To see how effective these keywords are, we can try them out as search terms. In a search box, enter the keywords and connect them with the word AND. Using AND in between terms will tell the database or other search tool that you only want to see results that include all of those keywords. Some search tools include the word AND automatically. This search retrieved five results that contained all of the keywords. If this number is too few, or if the results were not relevant for your search, you can begin the process of revising your keywords. Let's review our list to expand our keyword options. One way to revise your keywords is to identify a specific concept to help narrow your research. For example, instead of using the broad keyword children, you may want to look at infants and adolescents specifically. Using these terms will help target your research to a unique group and will retrieve a different set of results. Another method for choosing keywords is to use the subject terms found in library databases, catalogs, and discovery tools. Subject terms are standardized words and phrases that identify the item's content. Looking at one of our search results from earlier, a possible keyword that we could add to our list is passive smoking. This is how the concept of secondhand smoke is described within this particular database. A third way to determine potential keywords is to identify synonyms of the main concepts. Looking at the keyword cars, we might also consider using words like vehicles or automobiles to expand our results. After you've revised your keyword list, you'll now want to experiment with different combinations as search terms. Our initial search found five results. Let's replace our original search statement with keywords from our revised list. This time we'll try infants and passive smoking. Our new search retrieved 137 results. As you can see, adding, subtracting, or substituting terms can alter the number and relevancy of results. It may take several attempts, but eventually you'll have a larger and varied selection of information to choose from.